Yeah, do you still want me to walk or yeah. just stand here? A question, but you don't want me to talk. Pretty complicated, that's all I got to say. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which presents an amazing overview of this collection that's been part of the Northwest Portable Works program. Okay. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters. One more time, sorry. <clears throat> it's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which prevents an overview of the amazing art collection the city has accumulated as part of its portable works program. Close. One more. The more the better. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which presents an amazing overview of this collection the city has put together as part of its portable works production program. Program. One more time. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which presents an amazing overview of this collection the city has put together as part of its portable works program. They can just talk. He can be in it too. He can go with you. Eating is okay. It's a party. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which presents an overview of the amazing art collection the cities had accumulated as part of its portable works program. Sorry. Okay. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which presents an amazing overview of this art collection the city has accumulated as part of its portable works program. This is called the safety shot. You got to get it again, you know? Okay. All right. It's opening night here at the gallery's first show, Northwest Masters, which presents an amazing overview of this collection the city has accumulated as part of its portable works program. Okay. Nice to see you. How are you? How are you doing? Well, it's good. Okay. I'm with uh, the city's cable channel. So okay. we're starting something new called the uh, Seattle Channel, but it's about the city, arts, culture, and government. Okay. So you're the architect of this space, and, th and this was designed a while ago for a commercial gallery or a, or a display gallery for the bank? It was uh, when we started this project, it actually existed as the Security Pacific Gallery in another location. They lost their lease and were in a transition uh, moving up to this space when I believe it was bought by Seafirst. Security Pacific was acquired by Seafirst. This then was inaugurated as the Seafirst Gallery, which then became the Bank of America Gallery and was sponsored for years by the Bank of America.
and now it's a city facility. And now it's a city facility. Anything, anything about the challenge of designing a gallery space that, that people could simply understand? I mean, what are, what are sort of the, the basic issues of doing that? Well, I think probably the number one issue is what makes art look good. And uh, how do you accommodate a variety of different scales and media types from sculpture to painting to printmaking? Uh, at the same time, understanding that it's a curated space and that many different kinds of things are going to happen over time. So I think the biggest challenge in this case was flexibility balanced with creating enough wall space that you can mount a significant show in a fairly small space. It's, it's sort of interesting that this amazing Northwest art collection is in this space. Do you ever think this would be the kind of work that would be shown here? You, one hopes that it achieves its highest and best use, which in my opinion is you know, facilitating Northwest artists and really showing them to the best effect. And it's great to see such a fantastic sampling of really great Northwest artists in a variety of media and have the space work for that to accommodate a bunch of people enjoying it. Great, thank you. It's a it's a great space. I really like the room and these revolving pieces, and it just it feels good here. Well, thank you. Thanks. Just tell me about um, your having your work in a collection of quote Northwest Masters, and here owned by the City of Seattle. How's that feel? Oh, it feels great. <laughs> it's really nice to be among really great company. The, uh, what do you think of the idea of that the city owns this amazing art collection? Well, I, I think it's a, a, a real plus because I think the great cities in the world, they all have huge art collections. And people, generally, that's what makes a great city is the art that they sponsor, whether it's Rome or China or New York or wherever people go to see the art. So I think it's a great legacy. You, over your career, I, I have the assumption that you've done a lot of work with Arts Commission and those kinds of things. Um, not a lot, but enough. Some, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Good thing for artists. Oh, yeah, of course. It, it's a way of uh, them supporting themselves. And also, I think it's a really good tribute to the Northwest that there's a lot of talent here in the area and, uh, um, and might as well uh, use it. <laughs> And we are. Well, enjoy yourself tonight, and uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. I feel really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay. So, how does it feel to uh, be part of this show tonight that's called Northwest Masters, and you're uh, hanging on the wall here? Uh, well, we may have to go to another question. No, I, I don't know. It's I don't even think about the title that much. It's. Uh, but it's nice to be in a collection like this. They're, the works are old, so not that I have anything against older work of mine or anybody else's, but uh, you are kind of aware that uh, it should be kind of an ongoing collecting thing. Uh, some of my friends have work in here from 2001, and mine's 1983 or something like that, so I think we need to kind of, you know, get a little closer to the present. Update. Yeah. What do you, what, in general, what do you think about the idea of the, of the city owning a, a collection like this? Well, uh, I always think of the problems for everything, and one of the problems is that there is a kind of an editorializing that has to go on, almost a censorship in a way, because they ultimately, uh, it sort of straddles the test between a collection as works of art and a collection as decorations for office, and decorations might be a little bit of a harsh word, but uh, they have to kind of, most of them think were intended to eventually grace the halls of, dare we say, bureaucrats. That, that might be a little too strong also. My yeah. office. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of confusion about corporate collecting in general because there's always these kind of limitations and public collections always have, have them even maybe more so than the corporate. I don't know. Uh, having said that, there's a lot of work that can be collected that is not offensive to the public taste, and, and that's fine. However, you know, I, I'm a little uncomfortable with that idea that some things are beyond the pale because people who have a job in the sanitation department or something are going to find them challenging to their uh, highly developed moral code. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay. 
So, Barbara, this, tonight you're part of a show here called Northwest Masters. Well, so how does that feel? Well, I feel like someone should be working for me. But <laughs> since they're not, you know, um, it's great to be a, in the show. It's great to be part of the collection. What do you think about the idea of, a, of the city, a city, owning a collection of art like this? Well, I think that it's, it's a really important thing to, when you think about the history and when you think about how you're going to chart where you've been and what kind of culture you've had. I think it's a really important part, of just like keeping the archives of any part of your culture. I, and that the city has been able to take over this space in, in the bank building seems pretty great. Well, I think it's really, um, for me, it's it makes me feel good because I was pretty upset when the, the space got lost before and because lots of things happened here that could happen on short um, notice that couldn't happen in a museum and now that it's here and the city has it it's still a nice place for people to be able to come people may come here that might not go to a museum just to practice and we need people to practice okay All good right. thank you sure you're giving her the art dose yeah yeah she's been to doing this before Last time she was here, she couldn't walk. Yeah? But this is her second time at the gallery. My wife's an artist, and we're here at the show. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Uh, hi, how are you? I have a question for you. Now, this is Michael, right, in the white blue coat here? Yes. 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 And where and is his piece in the room? Sheila Farns, who is the art right. critic from Seattle. Right. And I already talked to her about the possibility of what you said. And she said, well, Michael should be the one that should be on this. So, there you go. Okay. Just you. So, what do you to bring their collection together. Oh, I think it's long overdue for this city to have a gallery space, and I think this is a perfect one for the time being. The, this collection represents, I don't know, 25, 30 years of collecting for the city. It's pretty amazing just to see the range and the time frame of our culture here. You know, I actually think that it shows what a good job that we've done in collecting over the years. Particularly some of the early work. It's it's wonderful. It's held up really well. Anything from in your critic hat here tonight? You're just here to enjoy this. I mean, is this something you would write about, the opening of the of this space? Or? I've actually already written about it. I didn't review it, but it was more of a, a just an introduction to the gallery and to let people know that it was happening. But, I'm here for fun tonight. Good, thank you. Yeah, All right. That's what we're here for. Um, the city has a cable channel, and we're putting a website with it to talk about city life, um, civics, community, and culture. So the, the piece of the arts of the city that the city has really not paid a lot of attention to in its own media we're hoping to do more with, so maybe at some point in the get, to get past this. We're also going to have a, uh, a website called the Seattle Channel, and we'll stream all the video that we put. I mean, this piece would be on that website, and it would be, it would live on the web as well, um, working with some people, uh, filmmakers, trying to get their work on our air. So lots of opportunities, I think, to interact with we'll talk to you about that. OK? It's nice to meet you. Here tonight. This is for this is for the city's own cable channel. So how can you say no? Right? Judy is all okay. over that. Well, She's a famous person. I know she is. No, no. <laughs> so Judy, you're here. What do you think about the city getting this great space for a gallery? Well, I think we're so fortunate to be able to show this collection in a in a city space where it has access to so many citizens of this city. I happen to be involved in this in the Percent for Art program from its initiation. And I'm so proud of what we've accomplished. And to be able to truly share it with everyone in this city is sheer joy. So I 
I feel very, very, and you know, to, to show the artists that have lived in this region or whose work we've acquired, who live here today, you know, to show the contribution the visual artists are making to Seattle and the Puget Sound region, it's really an honor to be able to, to recognize them. It's pretty great. It's our history yeah, here. Yeah, really so, can I ask you about coming here tonight? Sure. Uh, I would just reinforce Judy's comments that it is wonderful to have a space like this to show the breadth of the city's collection, and I highly encourage City Council and the Mayor to do a similar space in the new City Hall. It's absolutely appropriate. It's a wonderful gathering spot, and to see the depth of this collection in one room that's open to the public is fantastic, and we need it in our new City Hall. That's great. Good. Get your name tag. I'm going to turn you this way. Okay. Talk to me. About what? <laughs> about what? Back up a Ask a question. Yeah. I will. So tell me about, what do you think about the city having this space to exhibit their portable works collection? Well, I think you need, it's one of the, probably one of the best art spaces in the country to begin with, which is appropriate because it's one of the best arts commissions. What do, you th what do you think about this idea? I mean, is, is Seattle fortunate? Is it unusual for the city to have a collection like this? A city this size it is. Uh, it's almost more comparable to a small European country you know, in terms of the quality and the um, comprehensiveness of it. Is there any way when you, when you sort of look around the room and you see sort of the, the years go by on these walls, I mean, I, I, can you put that into words? What well, it's an encyclopedia of Northwest art history. Say it again. It's I... an encyclopedia of Northwest art history that's publicly owned and it's going to be accessible for generations and generations. I, I think we really have to uh, applaud it. And apart from the fact that there are a few on the wall that I purchased myself when I was a juror in 1983 and 1984. So, uh, you know, apart from that, I mean, I think I can objectively say it's the greatest municipal art collection in the country. Fabulous. Okay, thank that, you, man.
They haven't yet. But oh, okay. Yeah. They don't want to put a mic on you. So. so who all do we have here tonight? Oh. I guess they're going to have a speech. You, know, you got a mic? Well, you've got it. 